Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm talking kits. I have already done an unboxing of the Soft Sayings card kit and shown you everything that's in it. So today, where's all my pictures? There's all my pictures you can get from everything. I'm going to run through and show you them all made up because I have a new project today. I'm going to show you what to do with a kit when you finish with a kit. So the Soft Sayings kit has all of these lovely cards. You get two of each of these I'm showing you. I'm only showing you, going to show you one. So you get the little ones and you get slightly medium notelets like that. And that's one of the medium notelets as well. Then you get the bigger cards. You get all the embellishments, all these glitter, all these little bits. You get these already cut out. Everything's already done so all you need to do is just put them together and I have put these together in probably about half hour 40 minutes no I say 40 minutes but it's lovely and you've got all these little gold foil embellishments with it and they're gorgeous and you get two of each of these when you make them together but when you've finished and you've used all the washi tape and the embellishments and the backing card and you get envelopes for them so when you've used all of that you still have the stamp set and that's what I wanted to show you today, is what you can do with the stamp set when you've finished with your card. So if you've bought a card kit because you're a new stamper, and I've been recommending the card kits for a lot of my new stampers, all you need to do if you like crafting it is just buy a couple of pieces of cardstock and perhaps some different colours to branch out, because the Soft Sayings kit only comes with grey um, ink. So I have two card blanks here, so these are tentfold cards. And I've got one in Berry Burst and one in the Thick Whisper White. And then all I've done is I've cut both of them with a layering piece. So that's half a centimetre less on each side. And I've done that for both cards. And these are what I'm going to be decorating before I put them on. And I'm just going to show you how you can still use this kit to make a pretty kick-ass card. Um, with only just buying a few more extra items. So I'm gonna pick up with the Berry Burst. So let's let's do this one first, it's going on to the white card. And it's so easy to still make beautiful patterns with the flowers. So I'm just gonna ink that one up, I've added it to my block. You get a block with the kits, so you don't have to worry about buying a new block. But if I just, just pop that there. See, it's still lovely, even though you haven't got the pre-inked or stamped cards. So I've got a little flower. Um, should I do that in the same colour? No, I'm not going to, I'm gonna do it in, um, what colour shall I do it in? Let's have a look. It's a little bit of a, a play around here. So, powder pink. And I'm just going to put one attached to that there and possibly one there. Do I want another one? Yeah, I do. I'm going to put it there. To make a little posy. And also on here, I've got the, the little leaf bit. I might use one of our new colours for this. Which one shall I use? Call Me Clover. Should I call, use Call Me Clover? Yeah. This is one of our new colours that's coming out on the new catalogue. If you haven't got our new catalogue, if you haven't seen it yet, you live in the UK or Europe, just get in touch. I will pop one in the post to you. Not a problem, there's some gorgeous stuff in there. We've got some lovely new colours that I'm going to be using and showcasing over the next few weeks. There's some returning colours, but they've got some beautiful new ones. The new ink pads, they lift up. I haven't used Call Me Clover yet, so it's just a bit stiff. I haven't even put my labels on it, but I'll get there. So I'm just going to... I'm going to put these... Put one... There, I reckon. And one there. 
have one. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll do exactly the same on this side, but I'll put it there and there. I should have another one coming out of there. That's quite cute. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to use... <laughs> I'm trying to make it like the old ink pads. And look, I've got it on... I need to remember that these are new ones. Not get myself so messy. Two seconds. If you're a crafter... Baby wipes. Baby wipes on my desk. Okay. So now which centre pad shall I use? Just a note. I like that one. Just a note. And is that my very best? Just a note. I hmm, quite like that. Do I want that one to be on that one? Or... Do I want it to be on? Which I think I want it to be on that one. I do. I do change my mind. So I'm just going to stick it with a couple of dimensionals so it pops. Like that. That's typical. Just start filming. And the film that the phone goes. I hope it's nothing urgent. It's only me in, so I feel really rude not answering it. So there's my first card, and like I said, it's me made it, not a kit. And you could make that just using the stamp set. So for the next one, I'm just gonna step it up. I'm gonna keep the principle the same. And I'm gonna begin. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that actually. Let's get rid of that. that phone is still going. I'm gonna put you on pause and I'm gonna come back to you as soon as I've answered the phone. Give me two seconds, people. Hi everybody, sorry about that. Just a, a quick run off. Um, I'm quite glad I've learned how to do that in my films now because I never used to be able to stop and start them. So I've worked out how to put them together. I think. So hopefully that worked and you're all put together. I'm just cleaning those up because I think I want to do this one with my memento ink and then come in with a bit of a colouring technique just to step the card up a little bit more so that you know as your stamping progresses you've started with a kit and you've done that and then you've made your own card without using the kit just using the stamp set you can still use these flowers so I'm just gonna stamp these randomly and I'm just gonna grab that bigger leaf just there I'm just gonna pop that onto there like that I'm really gonna ignore the fact my fingers are green I'm not liking that <laughs> But it's a lovely shade, isn't it? Call me Clover. Quite like that one. And then... Just going to pop... I'm going to pop another one. Yeah. That one's like a little angel. <laughs> cute. Or I think it's cute. So now I'm just going to grab my... I'm going to grab my aqua painter. Yeah, I think I am. And... Just, just make that a bit watery. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be messy. Don't often do messy, but I'm gonna use my aqua painter and I'm gonna go out, out of the lines. I was gonna use the blender pen to start off with because you don't get as much water with the blender pen, and I haven't put this on watercolor paper because I was just doing it, you know, ad hoc as you do. 
just going to make that a little bit, a little bit redder. There we go. You can still do it by closing the top of the lid and pushing it down if you want, if you haven't got a reinker. Uh, I've got reinkers, so I'm just being lazy. There we go. Build that up. There we go. Straight over the top, no need for being tidy when you watercolour and you don't always have to keep in the lines. And then the green we used Call Me Clover, didn't we? I wonder, I haven't seen anyone do this. I wonder if you can still open it the new way. I keep forgetting. It's going to take me ages. It is quite tough, I'm not going to lie, to do it straight away. But I have seen someone online doing it with candle wax. You still push those in. I swear someone said you could. No, you might need to get the reinkers with this. I haven't got them yet because they haven't arrived. So watch ladies. I'm gonna use lemon lime twist instead because I know I can use that. And I've also got the reinker myself for that. Have I got my other aqua pen? I have. And I'm just going to do exactly the same as what I've just done with this. Straight up. Nice and messy. Like that. And I'm just... So what I'm doing with this is I've just made sure I've got some lemon lime twist on my pen and I'm just hitting it together and I'll show you why. Let me just finish the technique and then I'll show it you. So once you've done that, your card will have, I don't know whether you can see it very well on the camera, but you'll have all these little splats. On it now I haven't thought about where I'm gonna put my sentiment or what I'm gonna do with my sentiment that was a bit backwards wasn't it so that's gonna go on to there are you gonna go on like that or are you gonna go on like that think I think it's going to go on like that. So I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap. Do I have some scrap handy? I have. I'm also going to use just the note sentiment, but I'm going to keep it in the memento ink. Memento is great when you're doing the watercolouring. It doesn't run. So it works lovely. And it's great with your blends as well. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop that out. I'm not going to use a punch or anything. I'm just going to keep it nice and, and simple because we've already done a couple of techniques on this. I'm just going to pop that there. That's how, exactly how I'm going to finish that. So again, a dimensional in each corner. And another two dimensionals just to pop this up. There you go, two relatively simple cards starting from the kit. So you've got the kit cards, which 
like I said, they were quite simple, quite easy to put together. They worked quite well and they look gorgeous. But as soon as the kit's finished, you're still using the stamp set, just buying a couple of pieces of card, some different inks if you wanted to, and you can keep stepping them up to make them from a simpler card to a more technique and experiment card. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm back tomorrow and I'm using the um, a different kit that I've got, which is the... I think it's the Lots of Happy kit. I'm pretty sure it's the Lots of Happy kit. I'm just looking at it. It's this one um, with these. And I'm going to be doing exactly the same tomorrow where I've made them up. And then I'm just going to show you how to step them up once you've finished. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. And I'll see you soon. And apologies for the interruption. <laughs> Bye.